Hi, this is Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston off Daniel Island, and today I'm going to take you through a 2021 Scout 305 LXF. Starting off with the boat's exterior, the full hull shark gray gel coat. It has a custom painted accent stripe in Scout white, which matches the boat's interior gel coat color. Through the stem windlass anchor, White rub rail with a stainless steel insert is standard, both rub rail and scrub rail. Coming around to the aft end, we've got a full walkthrough transom, so easily to get from one side of the boat to the other with the Eztec Faux Teak flooring. Boarding ladder is on the starboard side. Our uh, motors for this boat are the twin V8 4.6 liter 300 horsepower Verado motors with joystick piloting. Also done in the matching Scout White. And now we'll go inside and see the rest of the boat. So here in the cockpit of Scout 305 LXF, we have a double wide stern seat with molded in armrests and backrests with a live well beneath. That's standard. We've got a cutting board to the port side, three drawers of tackle storage, raw water wash down. This is a self bailing cockpit, so all rainwater is going to drain out the pores. And we have a standard swing in dock door or dive door. Also, great if you're pulling in a fish, not having to go over the gunnel. Nice big heavy stainless hardware. Fish boxes on both sides. These are pump out fish boxes. Can also be used as coolers. And then here our systems access or bilge access. So finished bilge, foam padding down on the floor. See everything is really nicely appointed and well organized. Easy to keep clean. We have a slide out tray for a cooler. Freshwater sink, another cutting board with a storage box rod holders and cup holders. On the starboard side, we have under gunnel rod storage, another fish box, a freshwater wash down, and we also have a um, cockpit door that's closable and lockable. Here at the helm, we have twin touch screens from Garmin. The steering wheel is on a tilt base that includes a steering knob. We've got trim tabs with LED indicators, digital start and stops, our joystick piloting system that includes our skyhook feature and our autopilot, digital controls with those Mercury motors. We've got a Mercury vessel view display, Fusion Bluetooth stereo, and a custom option with AC at the helm in addition to the AC at the cabin. We've got above here, we have a Garmin VHF radio. Speakers built into the hardtop, both above the console and in the back end. Storage, um, storage net here into the hardtop. We've got more Eztec. Uh, this is another custom option. Eztec flooring in lieu of the C-Deck material. Eztec Fotik. Really nice helm seat here. You've got flip up bolsters. Nice stainless hardware custom with custom uh, diamond stitched Regio interior. You'll see that diamond stitching also up in the bow. We'll come around here to the port side where we have our cabin. So this is an air conditioned space with a small berth batteries are beneath the berth here we've got our air conditioning controls our toilet stereo head unit key ignitions freshwater sink all of our switch panels and breaker panels big heavy solid fiberglass door battery charger is standard we've got track lighting 
And there's also storage canvas that comes with this boat, as you can see here. Again, you'll see that diamond, diamond patterned stitching in the Regio interior, which is an ultra, ultra vinyl. Beneath the Chase Lounge, we've got nice storage. Great for extra lines. And this Chase is deep enough to where you can comfortably lounge to with an armrest. And someone who's even six feet tall can, can lounge comfortably. Another custom option, again, in lieu of like a foam material, we have another uh, faux teak also up here between the two cup holders. There's charging ports on both sides of this recessed area. It's a good place to keep phones. We have some U-shaped seating up here with molded in fiberglass backrests that are really beefy and sturdy. Nice deep bow, really comfortable area. Storage beneath on both sides, all polished and finished lids. No rough edges. And these boxes do drain, so you can use them as coolers. In addition to the storage box here up in the bow. Another drained box. Great for a cooler. Some drinks on ice. Or some fish. Our windless anchor has controls here at the foredeck. Pedal controls in addition to the controls back at the helm. Cleats are all recessed. We've also got some rod holders up here, so this boat is ready for a, shun a sun shade that you can connect up to the hard top. We'll make our way back around to the starboard side console. There's one last area to show on this boot. So on the starboard side, we have another storage locker. Great for hanging lines or storing a deck brush or a boat hook. That way they're out of sight and out of the way. Again, nice solid closing fiberglass door. That's a walkthrough of our 2021 Scout 305 LXF. Again, I'm Carl Anderson along with Larry Carson at Marine Max Charleston. Give us a call at 843-747-1889 and always check us out online at marinemax.com. Thanks for watching.